Hello YouTube, welcome back to the uh, man cave here. Today, in the words of my favorite comedy troupe, now for something completely different. Today we're going to do a um, book review. Um, first off, this is by my favorite author, John Scalzi. Um, so, probably going to dive into a little bit of his other works first. Um, couple of technical points first off. No spoilers. I'm going to aim for not spoiling any books here, not spoiling any major plot themes. So if the Cardassians come out of hyperspace and they, they attack somebody I'm, unexpectedly, I'm just not going to go into that. Another point, um, I'm talking about Cardassians, not Kardashians. So if you're here for Cardassians, you're probably in the right place. Cardassians, Kardashians, wrong place. Move along. Um, Cardassians, good. Cardassians, no, we're not, we're not talking about them. So anyway, back to John Scalzi. He's most famous for uh, Old Man's War, which is an awesome book. If you're a completionist and like reading all the available material, this is probably not where you want to start off. There's like 15 books in this series. There's little novellas and stuff. This is not a um, a good starting point from a completionist point of view because there's just a lot of material behind this. Excellent book. Um, if you're looking for a fast way to get in and see if you like his work, uh, The Dispatcher, which is primarily available on Audible. It was an audiobook first and then a novel. Um, this was pretty good. Um, I really like this. This illustrates well what uh, John Scalzi does. So this is um, considered urban fantasy. So it's not really a sci-fi book. Urban fantasy. Um, the premise of this particular book, like all of Scalzi's works, is usually reality is pretty close to our reality. But there's some twist or some turn. In the Dispatcher, that twist and turn is actually the fact that you can't die of murder. You can die from sickness, organ failure, all kinds of things like that. Murder you can't die of. So if you get pushed off a cliff, you wake up 20 minutes later on your couch, buck naked. Um, so the concept of a dispatcher, the main character in this story, he's someone who's hired by insurance companies and hospitals to stand in operating rooms, and if anything goes wrong and it looks like they're going to lose the patient, he steps forward and murders the patient on the bed. They then wake up 20 minutes later at home, ready to go at the operation again tomorrow. So if you're having a heart transplant, and things start looking badly, this is the person who would step up, murder you, so you, they can have another shot at your heart transplant the next day. Um, that's very similar to most of Scalzi's works. Um, the uh, Agent to the Stars, also a great book, great starting book. It's a standalone book as well. This one is... Uh, the conceit and it's again almost not even sci-fi it's just aliens have discovered us they want to make contact they want to talk to us but they realize that as green blobs they're going to have a PR problem so they hire a movie agent to try to you know improve their image prior to them coming to earth and uh, it, it's just set in modern day times nothing special there um, but fun book, great comedy, great comedy in all of these books. Sometimes the comedy is a little more adult. You probably don't want to give your 12-year-old these books. Um, a lot of cursing, sometimes sex. So, not for the kiddies. Um, another great book of his, Red Shirts. And this is a, starts as a blatant ripoff of Star Trek and I, the book even points that fact out. I think the book actually calls out Star Trek by name. And the, this is really three stories in one. The first story is um, the crew of not the Enterprise, but the crew realizes that they're this 
most unlucky crew in the the whole Starfleet. Their accident rate is through the roof. They have a chief engineer who manages to get hurt every other week and then make miraculous recoveries. Um, people dying for no reason. So the first part of the book, first third of the book, first story of the book is basically the crew realizing things are screwed up. The second piece of the book is they go back in time to when they realize they're actually on a, a TV show. They go back in time to, to meet the authors of the, the story um, and tell them to stop killing people randomly and write better stories because you're killing random people in our world. Um, so Star Trek Four style trip back to Earth. The third piece of the story, which, you know, this is Scalzi. He deep, deep dives into, you know, one little thing and just keeps di diving deeper. The third piece of the story is he's, uh, what does that writer feel? The writer who just found out that he's been killing people in a galaxy far, far away. What's he feeling? How does he overcome his writer's block? Because if he just takes a, a cheap trick and gives the, uh, you know kills an ensign off just for a dramatic pause because he needed something to, to go out to commercial with. Um, how does he get past that? How does the writer react? Um, so back on to The Collapsing Empire. This is Scalzi's latest book. It just came out. I just finished it today. Um, I started it on Monday and it's Wednesday. So, great book. Um, you know, what the jacket will tell you is basically that this is a, a offshoot of humanity. Humanity found this way of moving around the stars faster than light. They created this big empire, and they use this flow path to, to move amongst the empire. Um, this book is the first in a series. The rest of the series, obviously, not out yet, because this book just came out uh, this week, I think, or last week. But first in the series, um, this book is completely just world building. He starts out by, you know, giving the setup for what this place is and how the economy works and how the government works and just starts digging into it, but with a lot of humor and a lot of uh, character development. So it's, you know, you're not going to get long exposition about how the government works. They're going to kind of, through example, with characters show how it works um book was good it ends on a cliffhanger um i mean it literally ends with the one of the main characters saying something along the lines of well this is how it started and now this is how i'm going to end it and then fade to black and that's the end of the story so um i'm looking forward to the next books in this the series again this this whole this is a, a true sci-fi uh, story it's all about um, or the the sci-fi aspects are faster than light travel and you know they learn this and that about gravity waves and stuff um, which gives them some forms of artificial gravity but Scalzi usually doesn't you know hang out on those details he'll put really neat you know technology in his books but he doesn't go into the deep details of how the physics work um, He's not as bad as Star Wars. If you're looking for the how does the technology work, he's much more Star Trek-like than Star Wars-like as far as his tech goes. But anyway, that's uh, just a very brief review of the <laughs> Collapsing Empire, but a long review of the uh, John Scalzi and some of his books. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you like it in the comments, and maybe future vlogs will be more book reviews. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.